tests that orthopedic surgeon should think about. There are some important tests that every orthopedic surgeon should think about. It doesn't mean that you have to get it for every patient. It means you just got to think about it to see if it will benefit the patient or not. Some of these tests include the hemoglobin A1C for diabetic patients. Hemoglobin A1C test is good for monitoring long-term glucose control in patients with diabetes. The hemoglobin A1C is a percentage of the glycinated hemoglobin relative to the total hemoglobin in the blood. The normal range is 4 to 6 percent, more than 7 percent is high. The vitamin D25 for patients with osteoporosis, non-unions, fragility fractures, and even in some patients with infections. CRP and sedimentation rate if you suspect infection and if you want to monitor the progress of treatment. MRSA screening for patients that could be carriers. Nutritional assessment for certain group of patients. Think about aspiration of joints. Aspirate before you inject a joint. Make sure there is no infection when you inject a joint. Fluid analysis from the joint should be complete. There are some important vascular studies that we can order, like the ABI, the CTA, and the Doppler. And some radiological studies where you will inject a dye, like an MRI of the spine with gadolinium or MRI arthrogram of a hip or a shoulder. Some other tests that we rarely order, such as alpha defensin test for infection or cotinine test for smoking or protein S, protein C, and factor V lidane tests in patients with vascular necrosis or to check if the patient has inherited risk factors that will lead to hyperagulopathy and DVT or PE. Also, some special tests and precautions for patients with epilepsy. Make sure you don't do a procedure and the epilepsy is not controlled. Or the anti-epileptic medication can interfere with vitamin D metabolism in the liver. Also, check the patient that are on anticoagulation, especially the patient that they have atrial fibrillation. That makes the orthopedic procedure more complicated. You want to give the patients anticoagulation, but you don't want to be encroaching on management of the atrial fibrillation. Another area that's interesting is the sleep apnea, and that will affect the postoperative care of the patient. Patients with short, thick neck or with a history of sleep apnea the patient may need special studies before surgery, and they may need special precautions after surgery. The physician should avoid ordering unnecessary tests and focus on ordering the most important tests. Orthopedics deal with concepts, and every condition will have a reasonable way of diagnosing it and a reasonable way of treating it. I'm going to be posting several videos that deals with the most important tests that every orthopedic surgeon should think about. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.